Hey guys, I had a little inspiration to do some game assets. So we're gonna start with a war mace. Uh, so basically what we do, what I like to do is start from the top and sketch a few lines. So basically this is gonna be the revolve line for which we work around because the easiest way to begin this project is to just revolve. I mean, it's, it's a handle, it's a ball on the end to keep your hand from sliding off and it's a morning star mace on the end for attacking, right? So in, in, in most games, that's how it works. Uh, so what we're, we're gonna start off doing is obviously we gotta draw some balls <laughs> or circles in this case. Um, make sure that line matches up, otherwise you're not gonna get a revolve because it's not gonna be a closed sketch. So we do that. Then we also have to draw the spike. And uh, we can do this in different orders, but I'm just going you know, from inspiration here, first time doing this, recording this, but draw the spike, draw the revolve line, or you could have used another revolve line, but I'm just gonna draw it because I like to do extra work sometimes. But anyways, let's revolve that and we'll hide it for now, uh, just because we're gonna make more of them later. But let's go ahead and uh, finish up those lines so that we can revolve our stuff uh, cleanly. And then one more there in the center. And now we go to revolve. We select all of the side sketches. We only need the one side because it's gonna revolve around the center. Then we go ahead and choose the line and revolve it. Now we have basically our, our mace without spikes. So let's go ahead and show that spike. And then we're gonna take the sketch center and revolve it around uh, 30 degrees would looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and revolve that around the circle. And let's go all the way so that we have a nice spiky surface to attack with. So I don't know if you guys play any games. I play a little bit of Elden Ring when I have some free time, which is rare for me. Uh, but I do have about uh, 10 to 15 hours on it, which is nothing compared to my brother-in-law who has like a hundred something hours on there but i'm not in high school anymore so i have work and responsibilities uh making these videos this is my game right here making videos for you guys and uh drawing stuff this is why i do uh, <laughs> a lot of the time but anyways what we have to do is select all of those spikes and we're gonna go ahead and revolve them uh let's do 45 degrees because we don't need too many spikes um, and then 90 and then 135 is what we need. Sometimes it's easier just to write it though. All right, so now we have our mace, at least what it looks like. It's a basic one. Let's go ahead and hide that sketch plane and let's make it look a little better by making it look metal. So we're, we're gonna go to visualization and we're gonna select obviously metal. Let's uh, let's see. Let's what looks good. Let's choose uh, iron. Probably will look good. Not polished. And then uh, let's just select the whole thing so we don't have to mess around with it. Because if you do this one at a time, it's gonna take a while. So just select the whole thing and change from multiple to one. That makes it easier. And so I do actually want to change it up a little bit, make it look more realistic. So I'm going to go ahead and move that up. Uh, you select it all and just move it up because it's still not unioned. And I'm going to increase the size of the handle as well to make it thicker. Uh, just because it looked a little too small for my taste, like a one-handed mace or something. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, make some changes to make it look better. And we can start off by selecting everything and selecting union. And then I'm gonna speed this process up, but uh, basically you select all the circles and what we're gonna do is fillet them um, just to make it look more realistic because right now it looks like some kind of 2D kind of <laughs> thing. Uh, but once we select all of them and try not to select the wrong pieces and make sure you don't double click anything while you're doing this because it, it, it is hard sometimes to select all these. But uh, go ahead and fillet them to however you think looks good. In my opinion, I think uh, 0.5 looks really good here, as you can see. So, and then the handle, 
basically also need some work and sometimes I like to do a chamfer and then fillet it because this would basically make the base sturdier and and then just fillet the edges to make it you know round it off a bit that's already a big improvement right from the basic one and then also this edge and then sometimes you know the funny thing is oh, let's let's redo that but uh sometimes you need a big number for this stuff but uh let's make it kind of like a baseball bat uh, i like even numbers so i make it 10 and then let's fillet that and as you can see a small number makes a small fillet so in this case we're going to need a big one so let's just do 500 let's go for it and that makes it just big enough to where the transition is hard to see which is what we're going for so same thing here let's try 500 and see what happens uh, perfect so let's go ahead and go to visualization and see how it looks and uh, we can try different environments uh, different shadows so I like this one right here this looks pretty good because it looks like an in-game asset already uh, but I can see a couple of places like this would then need to be a little bit smoother so let's see again and then there's one more spot right there that I can see the transition way too clearly. So let's change that up as well, just make it a little bit smoother. Uh, sometimes it doesn't work, but we can make it smaller number or something and just increase that one instead. And then just, you know, go by your gut feeling, like what, what, what do you think looks good to your eye? Because this is your project after all, so I think that's a nice transition. Um, all right, let's go ahead and do the final swoop of the visual just to make sure that it's as perfect as we want it. And I think this looks beautiful. I would love to use this in a game. Uh, and this looks a little bit more like a two-handed one now than the longer handle. But uh, anyways, I hope you guys learned something. Hope you enjoyed following along. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.